Climbing up the volcanic mountain, Santorini. May 15, 2014. These oldies, some of them are walking sticks, really are inspiring examples of living life to the full, although you are senior citizen but many senior citizens in Singapore think that they are about to kick the bucket and keep hopping on the hell on the illness disabilities and uh, having a negative attitude to travel but of course if they are in pain or have some Illnesses, then to the, the spouse is the one who keeps hopping on the, the sickness or the disabilities. Making it is very difficult. Maintain a positive attitude to life, to living. I mean, if your wife keeps saying that you have urate acid, you have gastric reflux, you have problems with uh, your eyesight, and uh, you have pain everywhere, so it's very difficult. Respect the spouse, the disabled spouse to accompany you on holidays since uh, you have to be the caregiver. So it's better you not uh, remind him or her of this abilities because uh, the negativity affects the living disabled spouse you can see here this could be the fit senior citizens but uh, even they go volcanic mountain climbing with sticks you know, walking sticks of course the guide will be in a prime of health uh. it can be quite uh, tiring to climb up So, as a spouse who is healthy, and then the other spouse don't hug on his or her illness. So the rock and roll. This fellow, this great guy, and get the move on living in the silver age. Even though you may need a stick, climb the volcano, volcanic mountain. Unless you are really unable to do so. That's when you have the time to do it. Of course, when you're young, Take care of your health. Don't eat preserved things. Fatty food. Drink lots of water. Eat at least one fruit a day. And uh, avoid fried things like fried chicken, steak, 
sausages with all the preservatives, ham, bacon, fatty bacon, lots of oily food, snacks on cookies. Overindulge in nightlife and uh, sleep for eight hours soundly. So then they stay at home and watch TV day in and day out, contribute to community and see the world, even though. It may not be as vigorous and energetic as the volcanic tour guy you saw just now. But uh, the main thing is, if you want to maintain a good husband and wife relationship, try not to pass nonsensical remarks. Like, my husband abandons me when he doesn't want to take photograph with you I ask you to take with your travel mate and uh, such remarks are uncalled for if your husband has already abandoned you you wouldn't be travelling with him or, or if your wife has abandoned you you wouldn't be travelling on any holidays so don't cut out all the nonsense and just enjoy your travelling together. It don't need to be at every place at every time. Of course, you are in a good relationship or excellent relationship, you may go everywhere and anywhere together. Well, that is good for you. But uh, not all marriages are uh, holding hands every second. Some will need space for the spouse to explore, to do his own things, to take photography of sceneries during the tour, not just taking the wife or the girlfriend's photograph in every scene and every monument visited. Of course there are husbands who do that but uh, it's good luck to Climbing Volcanic Mountain and Donkey Ride. This is the Volcanic Mountain which to the top and back may take two hours. But you can do it slowly. May 16 or 17, 2014. Centaurini Island, Greece.